many people have asked for this, so here it is. Also, P.S., this story has a person who is a pervert and will do something that people aren't okay with. So please take that as a warning. Also, this story is not mine. Well, the begin the part one is not, but part two is. And I might redo this, so yeah, because I don't like the ending. So hope you guys enjoy. Bye, lovelies. Now let's continue. You gasp as you felt the soft and warm feeling of your bed. Wait, you're in bed? Wait, you're home. But weren't you at the museum? Wait, was that just a dream? You asked yourself, but then you felt something around your neck. You got up to the nearest mirror you had and looked into it. It was a necklace that looked like it was made out of pure gold. The gems was on, that were on it looked real too. Was this a dream or not? You tried taking the necklace off, but it wouldn't come off at all. You felt like it was a part of your body now. You tried everything, cutting it off with pliers, a knife, and even trying to find the back of it, but nothing. It was stuck on. That's when you heard your phone ring from the other room, picking it up and saw that it was your boss, picking it up to see who, what he needed. Hey, are you coming in tonight? I'll be in to see why there's so much chaos every time you're here. And maybe, never mind, I'll, we'll talk about it when you're here. He spoke. Sorry, sir, but I don't feel safe there. You were cut off by his voice. Oh, really? But you're the only one who's available. He spoke. Well, all right then. He spoke out. Well, 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 there's a good girl. See you tonight. That's when the call ended. He always creeped you out. Sorry, lovelies. It was almost nightfall. Now you were in the front of the mute building, and you still didn't get the necklace off. Walking inside, some people were left and others were leaving. You then saw your boss walking up to you. Ah, dear, you're here. He cut you off. Then he cut himself off. Who gave you that fine necklace, my dear? He questioned. You were worried, for it looked like something out of the magi uh, Egyptian section. Oh, a family member gave it to me, you lied. Ah, I see, dear. Let's go to my office, he spoke. That's when you felt a chill throughout your body. It felt like someone was watching you, like it was right behind you, looming over you like a shadow. Now in his office, all the people were gone, just you and your boss. So I want to make sure that you're doing what you're doing, so do what you normally do, he spoke. So that's when you did everything you normally do. Make sure no one was left, lock the doors, and then see if anyone thing was missing. Everything happened to be fine, so no people left, everything was where it should be, and now you're in the employees only room. That is where you normally got coffee. The coffee had been almost done until you felt something grab your ass. Well, I guess people have been lying to me about what you do. He spoke. I'm still fondling your ass. Please stop. This isn't right. You spoke. Why should I? He spoke out, still hold, having a hold on. That's when you felt your shirt start to move. What are you doing? I gasped, just having some fun. You would understand, right? You've probably never done this before for how young and beautiful you are. He chuckled out. You shut your eyes. That's when a gust of wind, something hit your face. Wait, normally wind doesn't have tiny things in it. You opened your eyes and sand was everywhere. The bad part is that sand had gotten into your eyes. It felt bad. It felt like needles were poking into your body as well. That's when you heard a gasp and the wind had stopped. You turned to see your boss. Well, as well as you could. He had been in the air someone was holding him by the neck how stupid are mortals to call themselves great and mighty when all they when all they are is fucking trash the man spoke well, what your boss coughed out you touched my queen slash king you shouldn't have been so close to them the man spoke he was wearing something of the pharaoh would wear wait what 
That's when your boss was thrown to the ground. He was in a fit of coughs. That's when the other man came towards me. He had ash, he had ash blonde hair and red eyes. He was standing right above me. With stare, was his stare was intense. That's when he bent down, a bit, and with a finger, held on to the necklace. Wow! Can't believe you tried to take this off. How dumb! It will never come off till I want it to. He said closer. He said closer to you. What? He came closer to your face. You could feel the blush creep up your face. That was when the man kissed you. When he was done kissing you, he spoke. You should be lucky that I kissed you. So many people kiss the ground I walk on. He spoke, holding my face by the chin. What? You asked quietly. You were shocked. What did he mean by queen slash king? You are my bride. Simple as that. You belong to me. He spoke. Your boss was up against the wall, just looking at what was happening in front of his eyes. But he doesn't matter now. All that was on your mind was this person that looked like he was cosplaying, but he was serious, right? Are you just going to stare at me or what? He asked, sur- sounding a little pissed though. Sorry, but who are you? And what the hell do you mean by your bride? I'm certainly not marrying someone I just met. He spat. This might have been a mistake. What the hell do you mean? He spat. How? Even more pissed now. God, you humans. And your stupid morals. When I was human, I was forced to marry someone who I didn't know. But here I am now. He spat once more. If you don't accept, I'm going to have you killed right here and now. You'll be filled to the brim with sand, and you'll taste it even when you're dead. He spoke, his eyes looking to, to be glowing. Fine, fine, I'll be your bride. Just don't hurt anyone. I spat, knowing by the history of Pharaohs, it wasn't, it wasn't the kind of tales. Time skip again. Sorry. What the fuck is that? The pharaoh you knew as Bahi Okatsuki had said. It's LD lights. You can change the color. You spoke, changing the color to blue, then to red. Give me that. He spat, taking the remote that, and changing the colors. It changed to all the colors he could. Can it kill people? He asked. No, all it does is change colors. You giggled. Fuck. Bullshit. He, he slurped. He slumped down on your bed. Also, I'm not wearing those clothes. They're ugly. He spat. Damn it. How the fuck do you know? What I'm going to say, you shouted. I hope you guys enjoyed. As I said in the beginning, I might redo this chapter. Well, this part. Because I didn't really like it. I, the ending of some sorts. I kind of rushed it. And, um... Or I just might even make a series, a mini-series out of this. But I wanted to say, since it is June 1st, by the time this video comes out, hopefully, I will, so I'm saying this to everyone on June 1st, but I will be going on a vacation through the 14th through the 21st, and I will not be recording that week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, though. Bye, lovelies.